Hello, my friends. I am so happy to be bringing you guys four new features for our bulk import feature. So I'm going to jump right in. If you go to your import tab, you're going to see a new toggle here. We are starting with the most requested feature. This is called move link to first comment. So we now have a column in your CSV called first comment. So you can add whatever text you want to that first comment for each of your posts. But we had this challenge where we ran a Facebook poll asking people, what are you doing with that first comment feature? And about half of you were using it for LinkedIn only just to move the link to the first comment because LinkedIn really seems to deprioritize posts that include a link in the main post. So if you attach a link and you include that link text in the main part of the post, they deprioritize your post. So people have been moving that to the first comment. So we wanted to accommodate you guys, but we had a whole nother group of people with all these great strategies that they're using with their first comments. They were using text, descriptive text, adding additional value and information in that first comment field. So we wanted to accommodate both of you guys and I think we figured out a really good solution. So let's start with this first utility called move link to first comment. What you can do is you can move the link to the end of the first comment or move the link to the beginning of the first comment. So let's pick the end. Now, let's say you're one of those guys who only wants to attach it to LinkedIn. Um, you only wanna move that link to the LinkedIn post. So what would happen in this case is we are not going to attach the link for any of your LinkedIn posts we are gonna move it to that first comment. That keeps your main post super clean. You're gonna have that image, you're gonna have the message text, but your link and any first comment you add will all be in the first comment and the link will be placed at the end. So whatever text you put in the CSV first comment column will be there in the first comment and then after that, we're going to place the link there and we'll do that for any one of the social networks that you select here. I recommend doing it for Facebook too, because I hear they like to deprioritize as well as LinkedIn. So these are the top two that do this. That's just kicking us off. Let's keep going. I'm gonna go look at, like for example, this is the post that we give to all of our agency pro clients. We write social posts for them and we give them to you guys to, it randomizes it and adds it for all your clients. So just to give you an idea, and yes, Agency Pro folks, starting in your July CSV, we include all four of these new columns. So we added um, something called alt text as well. Um, so alt text, what this does is, if you have any clients using a screen reader, maybe they're visually impaired, what you could do now is you can include the alt text of your images that are included in your social post. That way their screen reader is going to explain Okay, this is a split image of a woman watching a sunrise and a man stargazing at night. It makes it really convenient for them to be able to know what, you know, uh, site capable people are looking at when they don't have that opportunity. So this is a really great thing we're doing and we are going to be providing the alt text for the Agency Pro folks going forward. But if you're not on Agency Pro, you still have this in your sample CSV. So you can include your own alt text going forward. Uh, we're going to work back towards first, com uh, first comment. Pinterest board is another one we've added. As you guys know, we already allow you to choose the Pinterest board um, or boards if you want to add multiple, but you can now override this. Any board that you insert here will override whatever that setting is in your main import. And the reason you might want to do that is you might have just a few posts that you want to override and put in a very specific Pinterest board. Now you can do that just by typing in the board name here. And by the way, if the board name doesn't match up, you will not get an error. It will just move over and use the board default that you've selected over here. So if unspecified, it will use this one. So now we have a story, yes or no. If you put Y in here, it will post this as a story on Facebook and Instagram. For all the other social networks, it'll just ignore whatever you put here. So if you leave it blank, it's the same as entering N for no. If you put a Y or type in yes, it will include that as a story. That was a big request. So I'm so happy to be bringing that to you guys. 
And finally, that brings us back to the first comment. Any text you add in the first comment, we will add as a first comment in your post. And whatever you set here will determine where that link goes. So just remember, if you're using this feature, you do not want to repeat, like don't paste your URL in the first comment. Otherwise it will show up twice. It'll show up once because whatever text you put here will be included as a first comment. And then it will also add the URL onto the end of that first comment. So it'll kind of double post those URLs. Um, this way you can just keep it super clean, only include your text in this first comment. And what's great about all of this is I had ChatGPT write our alt text. So it's already in there. Um, you could just as easily have ChatGPT include a column in your um, export for the first comment. So have ChatGPT write your first comments and create your alt text for you. That way you're just pasting it into the spreadsheet and it will take care of the rest for you. As always, if you guys have any questions about any of this, first of all, you've got a reference here. This kind of defines what each of those um, columns are in your spreadsheet. So we've got this information here, but you also have live chat. If you live chat with us, we can also help, help you get through this transition. So enjoy you guys we are going to keep making this better and let us know do you want this added to the publisher so if you really like this feature move link to first comment and you want that added over here in our manual publisher as well and maybe even to our rss feeds if you guys think that would be cool um, drop us a comment below and we will consider doing that thank you so much